three gigabytes of RAM. So let's go see which one's the faster one between both. Okay, there we go. All the apps are cleared out in the background. So let's get into it. Phone calls, three, two, one. Okay, S23 faster. App stores, three, two, one. Okay, Galaxy S23 definitely faster here. But Androids typically open up their app store a little bit faster. I will say though, kind of scrolling through, it seems, eh, they both kind of seem like the same thing. It's not really a big difference here. Let's go and see the animations of the gestures. Pretty much the same thing, hopping out of here. Let's get into their cameras. Three, two, one. Not a big difference. Let's go and take a photo. This one was on night mode. This one wasn't, so totally fine. Let's go and open up that photo. Three, two, one. Definitely faster on the Galaxy S23 there. We do have some of these third-party applications we can test out. Let's go ahead and try something like Twitter, which I don't even think I have. We'll do Snapchat. Three, two, one. Okay, I think the Galaxy S23 definitely faster there. Hopping out of this one, let's go and get into something like Quizlet, which I also don't have. So I have to load up my game launcher. Let's do two time on two, three, two, one. I'm afraid it touched the screen, but this one is going to have a pop-up. I knew it. So even with that pop-up, it was still going to be faster, I think, on the Galaxy S23. You can even still see, even if we give it like a two or three second delay, I was pretty quick to type or like click on those specific things that came up. And it was still a faster experience, I think, on the Galaxy S23 when I kind of came down to it. So let's go and hop out of this one. Like I was mentioning, I do have the game launcher, which makes me basically do it in order to open up an application. We can try Roblox, three, two, one. Okay, of course we need to upgrade it, so we'll just go and hop out of these two. Let's go and load up Game Launcher again. Let's go and do Genshin Impact, three, two, one. Now I'll just load it up into the initial display, like the initial screen. We'll just kind of see what happens there. But I'm pretty sure the Galaxy S23 is definitely gonna be the faster one here. But the iPhone XR doesn't seem that far behind, to be honest. But it's really cool to see how much, how many improvements have been happening with phones from five years ago to how they're holding up now. So that was very interesting, hopping out of this specific game. We can go and try one more, but I do think we kind of get the idea which one's going to be the faster one here. We'll try Subway Surfers 321. But it's very weird because I have to keep clicking into the, you know, the accepting the terms of service and whatnot when I've already done that like 100 times on both these phones. So this one, we were already into the game for a while ago. You can see we finally get into it on the iPhone XR. So I definitely do think when it kind of comes down to it, the iPhone XR, for it being five years old, I think it did pretty decent. But the Galaxy S23 is definitely the far faster phone here for a fact. So that pretty much covers it up there. Now in the camera...